gentlemen, welcome back to week number two of our fantasy football pickups and fantasy favorites. Tonight, we have a new addition to the team. As you can see, we have, we'll just call you Cheeks. We'll call him Cheeks, because that's the nickname he goes by, so that's what we're going to call him. That's the intro you're going to come up with? Yeah, I am. Let's <laughs> <laughs> to the mic, man. That's, that's the intro you're going to come up with. Yeah, that's what I'm coming up with. All right, welcome, Cheeks. Yep. Thanks, guys. Good luck. So, what we got tonight is, as you see, the returning characters, as always, is Mr. Eric. Nice shave, shave. And me, Life of Five, your host, Holly Young. <laughs> Matt, Big Matt, AKA Cheeks, newest member. And we got, of course, we got Nick, Stolf, the Wolf. Oh. <laughs> and as always, we have a returning champion. Mr. Matt, I be squashing for Dick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, welcome back to another glorious week of pickums. <laughs> Good show to be the board. Yeah, show the show, show me the board, Matt. All right, standings after week one. So, like, standings after week one, we have a surprise at the top of the leaderboard. We have Eric and Matt tied for first place with 10 pickums right. Good job, guys. And we got me and Nick tied bad. with nine. We and we got Cheeks bringing up the rear with seven. But as you all know, one week can change it all. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Where's my mark? Here we go. All right, game number one. We have the 0-1 Giants at the Washington football team, also 0-1. Washington minus three and a half. Matt, you're the newest addition. Tell us who you like, why, and your fantasy player stud of the game. Whatever you want to call it. All right, we got to go with Washington on this one. Um, Chase Young, absolutely going to dominate this game. Uh, he will be my pick for player of the game. All right, so Matt is going with, you said, the, with the Washington football team. Who's their quarterback? Tyler Henneke. Shout out to Tyler Henneke, for yeah. Yeah. Former, former Panther, if you're who is also backed up by Kyle Allen, another former Panther, the Ron Rivera Riverboat Ron Special. So they picked Henneke over Cam Newton? Essentially, yes. Obviously the better choice. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. So, Eric. Another pipeline. Who do you I'm like? Eric. I, too, will go with Washington. I was liking what I saw last week. Unfortunately, Fitzmagic is out of the game. Kind of hurts my bench. But yeah, Heineke did pretty well, so I'm gonna go Washington. Player of the game. Um, switch it up, I'll just say Barkley might have a game. You're picking the well, Giants? No, I'm going Washington, but I think Saquon. Oh, he's hurt. He's Is playing he? still. He's playing His still. Legs Saquon's are playing. Uh, he's he's, hurt. he's gonna be busting and bumbling through that defense, no, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. because you better believe Saquon Barkley is going for 100. His legs are too long and they can't run. So you're picking the Giants? No, pick him no. Washington, baby. No, no, yeah, Washington all the way. So, Nick, you are also going with the Washington football team. I have no choice. I have to until Daniel Jones proves me yeah, that he well can said. be a quarterback, and unfortunately he hasn't. Um, You know, it's just at that point right now. So, you take Washington here. All right, Matt. I'm going to go Washington also. The Giants and the Jaguars are the worst teams in the NFL right now. I think the Jets are better than them, and they're another trash team. But, yeah, I say Giants and the trash. Fantasy studs of the game. I go Henneke or whatever. Tyler Henneke? Yeah. Scary Terry. Scary that dude's Terry. a monster. <laughs> Absolute monster. You see the catch he had last catch week? Last week was cool yeah. Shit. I sure. am also going to roll with the Washington football team. All right, so, so far we we're going to be No one's going game. on the limb. And my player of the game is going to be River Ron. Okay. A.K.A. the head coach. How so? How so? He's going to put in the right game plan for Is he going to go for two and win? He's going to kick a 55-yard field goal for the win. Oh, all right. All right. Bring the coach on the field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's got a boob. He ain't, he ain't scared. They did it in the longest yard, you know. Exactly. It can happen it can in the movies. It can, it can happen in real life. All right. Moving on to game number two. We got this. the 1-0 and Cincinnati Bengals coming off the upset of the Minnesota Vikings Oof. at the 0-1-1 Chicago Bears. And the Bears are sitting minus two and a half. Eric, who do you like? 
Uh, they're giving the favorite here to Chicago, but I'm not liking Chicago. I think Joe Burrow is starting to settle down. I think he's playing pretty well. So, yeah, I'm going Cincinnati, even though they're in the league with the Browns. Okay. I'm on to lose, okay. but I believe Cincinnati's got this one. I'll go next. I also am rolling with the Bungles. Ooh. Hey, the Bungles came out put on a show. This is a revenge game for Andy Dalton. Right. The Red Rifle. The Rifle, what are you bro. What about? The Rocket, Dalton plays, bro. Yeah, the Bears. For the Bears, so he's coming out strong. Bro, the Dalton ain't doing shit in this game. <laughs> Why did you all make me feel like I didn't know what I was talking about? Right there. I thought we were in the like, Vikings oh, game yeah. for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. I was like, uh, you know, Bears? You guys don't even know said your said the Bears, right? No, I think Joe Burrow has another... 65, 70 yards to, uh, is it Jamar Chase? Is that his name? Yeah, Jamar Chase. Yeah, Jamar. Yeah, he's going to put up some points. I think yeah, the like Bungles are going to show out. That. Then I think they're going to fall off a cliff after this week. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going Joe Burrow. Stat line. I'm going to go, mm, let's see, 24 of 40 for 175 and two TDs. Throw some more respect on Joe Burrow's Jesus. name at 175. Oh. Wow. 40 attempts for 175? Yeah. Hey, well, okay. that's terrible. Hey, hey, that's not a standard. Hey, 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 now, I'm going home team advantage here, but I'm going with the Bears. I think uh, David Montgomery is going to have a big game. He's going to run that ball really well. Is he, on your, is he on your fantasy team? He is not. Oh, okay. No, okay, but okay, I think okay. third year, um, I think he's probably going to get two scores there. So i got to go with the Bears. All right. All right. Mr. Abby Squatchin, who do you like? I'm going to go with the Fab Five. That's what they're calling themselves now. Or at least that's what the Mixon's calling themselves. <laughs> Soul Cincinnati. The Bungles? Yeah, the Bungles. that's what he's calling them. They're, they're, they're calling those the Fab Fives yep. after one game. Yep. They should probably calm down. Yep. No, that's what it they is. They haven't reached the mountaintop. Yeah, you still got to beat the Browns, and that ain't going to happen. Dude, they're just saying that their offense has the Fab Five. That's it. Yeah. Are they, 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 they going to call the timeout when they don't have any? Yeah. They're not Chris Weber. All right, Nick. Who do you like? Man, it's a real tough one here because, you know, I can see the Bears coming out and just dominating Andy Dalton. You know, he hasn't been the most efficient and successful quarterback in the NFL, but he holds his own. He still could be an NFL starter, but if they don't win this game here, you got to throw Justin Fields into that. I just into saw that, that he's no choice. Nay, he said today that... So, who are you taking? Oh, I'm taking uh, the... Uh, what's... <laughs> <laughs> the Bengals or the Bears? The Bengals oh, I'm taking Bears. Cincinnati. Yeah, there's too much There's too much talent right now. Yeah. They're riding that high from last week. I watched that game. Uh, All right. They, they so, did really well against the Vikings. I'm taking Cincinnati. Here. So, after this one... Matt is all on rolling with the Bears. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll save that game for last. We'll save that one for the last. Next game we got is the 1-0 Rams at the 0-1 Indianapolis Colts. Rams minus 3.5. Nick, who do you like? Take the Rams. Don't even think about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that. I mean, I'm the wrong person to start off with. It's, it's, it's Rams or nothing. They're too talented. And they got Matthew Stafford. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a, what they, a great what a great addition. They traded away freaking all their first round picks and just finally weaseled something and got something worthwhile. Because I think it was Ramsey they traded away like two or three first rounders or something like that. So mm -hmm. did you are you also rolling with the Rams? Yeah, I can't go against them, Matthew. Okay. Come on, okay. <laughs> I'm just Come on, Matthew. dude. It's I'm a fellow Matthew. I'm, I'm just getting it on the record. Yeah. That dude's a gunslinger, man. Jeez. Who do you like? Yeah, I gotta go Rams too. I mean, they're just too, too dominant. They're gonna absolutely roll this game. Uh, honestly, my player of the game is gonna be uh, Cooper Cup. I think that he's going to uh, probably light it up. Probably one ten in a score. Pinky's out. <laughs> you heard what they said with Cooper right, Cup? Pinky's up. Mm. That him and uh, Stafford are like inseparable. They like go on dates together and like hang out together all day and stuff like that. They so, go on dates together. Yeah. yeah. Oh like, yeah. It's weird. what our Stafford wife feels about. That's that. what. For, I'm sure yeah, she's there. Nice. That's what yeah, Tom Brady like, used to do. He used to hook up all his wide receivers with like models and stuff like that. Yeah. That's just Elvis's uh, 
whatever. How do you think so. Antonio Brown's doing so well? Yeah. Dude. Where did that guy Swimming in it. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's West Welker or something they said, like, married, like, some, well. like, grandma yeah, type of it is. Eric, who are you rolling with? So I'm going Rams, Rams too. I don't think it'll be a blowout, but I'm going Rams. Yeah, that should probably be a clean sweep. Yeah, that's going to be a clean sweep for me, and I think Stafford's going to ball out in this game because I don't know the Colts. They, what, they lost Antonio Walker to the Browns, right? That's his name, Antonio Walker. Yes. Right, correct? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they still got, um, what's his name at linebacker? I can't think of him. His name is leaving me right now. The other one. Um, I forget it. Oh, he's the, like the best linebacker in the NFL. Yeah. And we can't remember his freaking name. <laughs> <laughs> Khalil Mack. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost. All right. Next game we have is the 0-1 Bills choking at Pittsburgh. Were they at home last? They were at home last week. They were at home. So they got the Pittsburgh defensive line dominated them. Yeah. And they are at the 1-0 Dolphins. Buffalo minus 3.5. Eric. This is a good Who one. Who do you like? And fantasy stud of the game. Uh, it's tough, but you know what? I'll go Miami. Woo! I say Tua. Woo! I say Tua's going to Okay. I'll say okay. Miami. Eric's going with the Finns. Why not, man? <laughs> <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> Is that <your> Dolphin? <laughs> That's the best I can bring it to. There you go. There's one. I mean, I... I figured the Bills would have rolled over Steelers last week, but yeah, yeah we, defense we, is healthy though. That's why they I think, were, yeah, that's why it's everywhere. He was he was hyped on his new contract, so yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll go Miami. Why not? All right, Matt, you had a look of uh, shock and awe. Who you like? <laughs> Me? Yes. Oh, Bills. Bills all day, man. Uh, I think uh, Josh Allen is going to light it up with Diggs. I think we're going to have a great connection this week, and. Um, Bills, man. All right. Still with the wolf. Ooh. Who you got? Arr! Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. I want to root for Miami because I am a Miami fan. I think they are talented on paper. I do really like Tua. That being said, got to go against them. You go to the Bills <laughs> here. Uh, I mean, listen, you know, they got disrespected last week against the Steelers. It was kind of pathetic to see them just lay down and die like that. They're going to be looking for revenge here. You go, Bills. All right. Mr. Avi Squatchin. Uh, what do you got? And fancy stud of the game. Fancy stud of the game. I am going to go the Bills and Trayvon White as the player of the game. Tredavion White or whatever his name is. Give me, a Give me a stat line. A pick and... Two tackles for loss. Mm. Ooh, cool. Cool. For a cornerback, I'll take it. Okay, so we're going Bills. Am I going to be the only one? <laughs> you just smile. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I think you are the only one because I don't, I don't trust Miami yet. I, I mean, I'll tell you what. If the Dolphins win this game, yep. okay. Okay, yep. respect, respect yep. them. Yep. But you got to do it more than once. First week, lots of weird... Stat lines upsets like you ain't beat the Bills score fourteen points or whatever that. Yeah, they're scored. not. So, I'm also rolling with the Bills. I think Josh Allen passes for like two seventy five or so mm -hmm. through the air. Nope, three eighty. Three eighty. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 That's a stat line, Paul. Toss another hundred out there. Yeah. All right, I'll get you some stat lines before we're done. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And a rushing touchdown for 60-some yards. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Josh Allen sprint for 60. All right. He's going to put up 34 points in fantasy. Honestly, like though, I can see that happening at the Dolphins. All right, our next game is the New England Patriots sitting at 0-1 at the 0-1 New York Jets. They're what, AFC East? Yes. With the Dolphins? AFC, Re AFC East. Rivals, both 0-1-1, Pats land minus six and a half. Matt, who do you like? Fancy stuff of the game. No coaches, no coordinators, no fans. Yeah. Well, I'll do what you said. I'm going to go with the Patriots and Nelson Aguilar. He's going to yeah. catch a re receiving touchdown. He's going to get 118 yards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aguilar. I'll do that for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring it around the horn. Stole the wolf. Arr! Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I would also gonna take the Patriots here. Um, reason being because of you. 
All right. And I, my, because uh, you know I need that dub this yeah. <laughs> My player of the game will also be Aguilar. I oh, think he goes for oh, get the clean sweep? 10 receptions, 150 uh, yards. I don't know how many touchdowns. Say three touchdowns. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> dude, dude, bro. Oh, I know. Dude, I'm going to put up three touchdowns. Paul needs I'm going to shit a literal brick. Paul needs this. <laughs> We're all going to DM. We're going to wish this fucking forward. Aguilar. That's how Paul really needs this. Tell you what, it. Nelson Aguilar gets three touchdowns. You're going to see me pour a bottle of champagne on my head. You got to buy a jersey. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. that's the rules. He, he scores three touchdowns, you buy a jersey. He gets three TDs, I'll get his jersey. Alright, you, you all see the shake out there. Uh-huh. So, Wait, can, do I get to pick the color at least? No. No. You get to pick the color? No. You get a pink jersey. No, I'm getting a blue one. You get a pink one. I'm getting a blue one. Alright, Matt, Mr. Cheeks, who do you like? Uh, As he started the game. Well, the uh, Jets are going to get grounded again. Got to go mm-hmm. Patriots. Uh, and while we're at it, Aguilar. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you hear this, Nelson? I know you're going to watch this. Yep. Hook a brother up with three TDs and one thirty-five through the air. Daddy needs the W. We're gonna go get that still. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do everything he can for me. Paul still lose by two points. <laughs> I will, probably with my luck. All right, I'm also rolling with the Pats, and I'm also going to roll with Nelson Aguilar. Three TDs, one thirty-eight. We'll go 139 through the air. Oh. Okay, Price is right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 139.5. All right, Eric, do you have Clean it? Clean sweep it, dude. Clean, Clean sweep, it. sweep it. You don't think the Jets can do it? Seriously, come on. No. Come on. They got Sam come Wilson, on. dude. I, 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 will, I will say this. I do think Zach Wilson, if they give him an offensive line, will be a, a pretty damn good quarterback. Why is that? Because he has attributes. But the only problem is with him, He's gonna have to be running a lot. He's gonna be he, he's gonna, he's, yeah, he's gonna be rolling Sunday. out a lot like he did against Carolina. Just like Sanchez just rolling, rolling out. Said that. <clears throat> and they did just lose their skills. Yeah. And, and they did just lose their skills. Yeah, was it Darnold or Sanchez? No, no. who was yeah. It was probably Sanchez. But no, I think it was Darnold. He was, he was seeing no ghosts on Sunday. It, it, it was against yeah. the Patriots. He threw like five interceptions. Like I'm seeing like ghosts and stuff. He's seeing double and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Thank God we don't play them for a while. Yeah. Jesus, thank God he's not our star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta do it. Later. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll play the game for you. One. I'll do Mac Jones. You know. Oh, boo! <laughs> 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 We were this close, Eric. We were this close to, to perfection. Right He's back. nothing with The reign of Ruxton right almost began on this podcast. <laughs> <sighs> All right, next game we got is the San Francisco 49ers 1 and 0. Uh, show, who are showcasing Jimmy G to make, make a move to make Trey Lance up to the starter. Debo Samuel's a beast, but they cannot stay in Can I finish? <laughs> At the Eagles, one and zero, San Francisco, minus three. I'm just watching. Who do you like? Fans stuff. Are they playing the Eagles? Or Eagles. Um, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Jaylen That's my Hurts. best Eagle I can do. I'm sorry. Jalen Hurts is gonna light it up. I'm going to Eagles. 49ers keep getting hurt. They don't even. I don't even know who their running back is. Debo Samuel's Debo Samuel's a freaking beast right Elijah now. Elijah Mitchell's the only one left. What about Hasty? Yeah, no and soon rookie. Bosa is going to be hurt too because that's just what he does. And it drives me nuts because the Bosa brothers are one of the best defensive linemen in the game. So I'm going the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, three touchdowns. Mm-hmm. All right, we're, we're going to cross the circle here. Eric, who do you like? Fancy stud of the game. Oh, he, he, I got to go Eagles too. I think yeah. So oh, you want yeah you you want Eagles? Want Eagles. Yeah, I gotta go Eagles. What do you color coordinate it? Yeah, <laughs> it makes it easier to write down the pick instead of just doing okay, like, flipping back and forth. Yeah, and then uh, other Devonte Smith. Give me, give me a stat like give me a stat like just ah, just anything. It could be four hundred yards receiving. Punt it here at her. Seven receptions, ninety yards, one TD. Getting his second TD of his career. Okay, uh, why not? All right. Uh, all right. I was impressed with Hurts last game. So. I think he'll be decent. And then we'll swing it over here. Oh, what are you Mr. scared? You want to hear what everybody's going to say? No, I always do this. Mr. Stolf, the wolf. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are so high and mighty on the Eagles here. 
it's all or nothing for the Raiders. If they win this game, you go Raiders. Steelers are losing. It's going to be a two-touchdown game. Raiders. Where's it played at? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Is it? Pittsburgh's We're going opener. Two touchdowns. They're going to win 34 to 14. That's boring. That's way more than two and a half touchdowns. <laughs> two and a half touchdowns. I don't care. That's yeah. not 50 points. Yeah, it's not very true. All right, Cheeks, bring us back to reality here. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I hate it. Die hard fan, I got to go to the Steelers. Okay. I do. At home. Ooh. 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 At home, Steelers game opener, they're going to just absolutely dominate. And I think the Raiders have a great team, but my player of the game is going to be Darren Waller. Mm. All right. All right. The best young tight end in the league. Okay. Interesting. All right. I don't care. I'm sensing you want to go miss the Browns stand. Yep. Well, you know what? I don't even know what's going on. We're going with the Raiders. The Raiders. Yep. Give me, give me a fancy stud of the game. Josh Jacobs ain't hurt, is he? Yeah. No. He's down at the... He was dealing with the illness last week. Which it show. was. Always questionable. Mm -hmm. so it's always like, questionable. So, yeah. yeah. He's always banged up. Never banged up. Except the bad Well, we'll go Josh Jacobs. He's going right. to be the... Give me, give me a stat line. 100. We're going to say he's going over 100, the century mark, against the Steelers, which should be hard to do. Mm -hmm. We'll have a touchdown. 100 what? Rushing. <laughs> rushing. No, I know. Like 100 and... <laughs> I said he's just going to go over the center. Come on. Get, come on. The Steelers don't do that much. All right, I'm going to give you a side. He's going to do 105. Damn, that was what I was going to say, too. Mm -hmm. 105, so I'm going 104. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Price is right you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> one, <laughs> one yard! <laughs> one yard! I'm just going to get 104. <laughs> point five. Oh, shoot. All right. Eric, who do you like? I'm going Raiders. Yeah! I see why you guys are sitting next to each other. Steelers D was looking solid, but Roethlisberger looked like crap. Thank you. He had no offense. Juju looked like crap. They were great like producing. The defense, defense saved they they That was it. The defense <laughs> saved <laughs> They got lucky. Uh, yeah, like, it'll take a couple weeks to feel it out, but yeah. I'm, one, yeah, he's got to vote against the Steelers. Yeah. But two, I think the Raiders, Derek Carr looked pretty solid. All right. Moving on to the next game. <laughs> the game we've all been waiting for. <sighs> we got the 1-0 Saints coming to Bank of America Stadium oh, no. against my 1-0 oh, no. Carolina Panthers. The young, hot to trot Panthers. Second youngest team in the NFL. Who's the first? The Jets. Who's the third? I don't know. I don't care. Who's the seventh? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't first, you're last. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's the oldest? Ray, right, right. So that, it's got to be the one on the I don't know who the oldest is. The Steelers. Is it Steelers? <laughs> and we got the Saints. Minus three. Minus three. You know what? I don't care what these boys are saying. I'm They're roll, saying I'm minus Panthers. three for this game? Minus three. three. That's it. Minus three. And it's at you. It's at Carolina. So that's six, theoretically. Yeah. Because how Vegas does it, it's your home team gets two and a half to three. Yeah. No matter what. So you know what I'm thinking, my boys? The Panthers don't care. Over under 44 points. Don't hate. Appreciate. Hashtag keep pounding. Oh. Let's Ugh. go. Ugh. See Sit it. down. Yeah. <laughs> my show. Come back to reality. It's my show. Sit down. <laughs> my show. All right. All right. I think, Paul, you're going to be on the limb for this one. Cool. Bring it. I'm uh, taking the Panthers as well. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Saints had a food game last week. Uh, scoring 38 against a Green Bay team that really had no identity, no idea what they were doing. It was pretty pathetic to watch. Aaron Rodgers just lay down and die. But maybe sabotaging the, uh, the Green Bay Packers. Honestly, you know, though, I, I think at, it's the look, Saints defense. Looking at the game, it's like I feel like Aaron Rodgers just like, eh. he said the one that got punched in the balls or whatever, that's why he threw <laughs> <you know, so. laughs> Says I don't make excuses. He says, I don't make excuses. He said, but the one that got like double tapped or something, he said. Oh. <laughs> All right. But yeah, you definitely go Panthers here. It's a tough game, obviously, but at home, uh, there's no reason why Christian McCaffrey can't take control of this game and uh, you know win. It's gonna be a Christian McCaffrey heavy game. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna be a heavy McCaffrey, McCaffrey game. That's I think, the only way they win. I think McCaffrey does kind of like he does last week. 
I think McCaffrey has eight to nine catches out of the backfield for about 85, 90 yards. Yep. He's a I think he rushes close to 100 yards. Yep. But he scores this week. I think he does. I said, yeah, he'll probably get this. And like I was telling him during the whole Jets game, I was like, he keep like there's three or four runs he had, shoelace tackle away from breaking a 40, 50 yard. I think he gets a 50 yard touchdown this week. I like it. Nice prediction, Paul. That's not too over the top. 50 yard is not like saying he's going 75. 50 yard is doable. He's a lead running back. He yeah. can do 100. Yeah, yeah. he's the number one running back and player in the NFL. Mm-hmm. I mean, for fantasy, he's your number one pick every year for the last one Not in my years. league. <laughs> he went no. number two. No. Who, who was number one? I heard Dalvin Cook. Woo! Hey, you, baby. He gets hurt, though. Yeah. That's what that was the person who's, who picked Cook to, oh, McCaffrey's injury problem. Like, that was one time. Dalvin is yeah, too. He's been hurt yeah. one time since high school. Yeah, I was like, Dude, that's he's it. Been, he's been hurt like two years. Huh? I thought he's been hurt like two years in a row. Oh, it was like three years ago, he was like the number one player. It's last year. Last year, he had two different injuries. They brought him back too early. Then he got hurt what? again. Well, I thought, yeah, he got hurt the year before and he brought back early, I thought. No. That no, was last year. They brought him back because he got hurt against the Broncos, hurt his ankle or shoulder or something. I forget what it was. Then they brought him back. Same thing. He got yeah. hit in the shoulder or ankle again. Yeah. He's done for the year. Like, what are you doing? I had Mike like, Davis. I kept saying Mike Davis all last year. Mike Davis. Mike Davis. Mike Davis. 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 He, he had a great see. game. He, he's going to see CMC run all over his freaking team. Not even close, dude. It doesn't even matter. CMC is going to have a great game. I can't wait. Points on the board, but got to go Saints, man. What's your final prediction? For final this? prediction? Yeah. Well, I will bring it back to reality, not 50 points. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be 33 28. Ooh. If that happened, I wouldn't be upset because that's a solid loss. Yeah. I'm not a moral victory, but you know what? It's better losing, what, 39 to 3 or whatever? 30, yeah, 38 3. 38 3. I'd rather lose by like oh, 5 okay. or 6 than like 50. That's what you like to say. Mm-hmm. I'd be squashing. I already know you're taking. I'm remember. taking who that? Yeah. Yep. The defense is going to be the player of the game. They're going to have two fumbles and an interception, and it's going to be 28 13 victory. Taking the under and taking the oh, same. Right, just man. straight like that. All right. <laughs> he just flips the finger. <laughs> this way. All right, yeah, I'll go Saints, man. All right, all right. Kamara, I think, is going to have a game. I think Kamara has a fumble. And they bench him. I no, think he's going to bench him. 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 Dude, he should have been like close to the number one pick. He never gets hurt. He lights shit up. We'll say I'll bet the over on that one. I'll say it's closer to fifty points, not forty. I think what is it? Oh yeah, yeah. over under forty. Dude, the Saints are good. I'll bet the over. They got the cornerback to shut down every single one of your receivers, and they got the defensive line that's just gonna make. Uh, What's his name? Sam Darnold. See goes. He's Sam gonna see goes. He's gonna see goes. I'm gonna see, <laughs> right. gonna see in the end zone all day, baby. Damn right he is. You're too young. Don't worry. It'll come forward. <laughs> too It'll young. come to <laughs> Just give it you, time. You, you realize we have like one of the top up and coming receivers in the league, right? Who's that? Who? DJ Moore. Yeah, but you're going to go against Lattimore. And guess what happens when you go against Lattimore? You get right. shut right. down. Oh, guess what? He Ask gets, Adams what happened to that. Guess one receiver guess in the league. He gets shut down. You go over the top, Robbie Anderson. <laughs> no, 75 yard, the Rocket. Or get Terrence Marshall Jr. He's on or the bench, bro. Smith. Terrence Marshall Jr. is number three receiver. There's a reason bench. you put him on your bench. And, and we got Shai Smith, a rookie. Why did you put him on the bench if he's going to light it up? What's about on the bench? Anderson. You said you're putting him on the bench. You smile. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I put him on the bench because I don't like the matchup for fantasy, but I still want my team to win. Guess what? If Robert Anderson puts up four touchdowns, he's on my bench, and my team wins, I won't give a shit about fantasy because my team one. So if you lose your fantasy matchup this yeah. week, but the Panthers win, Dude, I can go all good with o, I can go 0 and 12 in fantasy. My team gets to win 12, 13. Why do you have more months? confidence in Nelson Aguilar than Robbie Anderson? Very true. Because they're playing the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
Is that clear, everybody? <laughs> I am. <yeah, laughs> okay. All right, we got like eight more games to go. Yeah. 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 Next game, we got the Denver Broncos 1-0 and at the 0-1 Jacksonville Jaguars. Denver. This is going to be the six. bloodfest of the week. Dude. Yes, sir. I'm going to write. I'm going to go first here. Urban? I'm, I'm, no. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I think Urban's out of the NFL by week seven. No. Ooh. No way. Dude, no you got it, man. I loved it. The contract he signed. <laughs> you got to give him more than no one. Seven idea. games? Coaches have, been, coaches have been fired in less. Who? Falcons coach. Fired we him. let freaking what's-his-face just ruin the Browns. Like, Two oh, years. What's yeah, his so stupid-ass name? Hugh Jackson. The, that thing. was the same old Browns, No, not though. Hugh Jackson. The freaking, uh, who's Chud? Chud? No, who was the freaking? They had so many freaking that we that got it's hard our, to remember. our GM fired, and then we got uh, uh, Freddie Kitchens. Kitchens, there we go, the oh. worst coach ever. Yeah, he's a player. Well, sixteen, but no, yeah, I am. I'm story. taking the Broncos. I think, Ooh. unfortunately, I think Teddy Two Glove Love has a good game. The Broncos have a decent offense. They're just so like. Did you say Judy got hurt? He did. Yeah. That's yeah. why I picked he's him up. Tim Patrick, baby. Yeah. Mm, he, he did pretty decent last year. So I picked him up. I'm gonna bench he's in the bench him. He's not on the injury report here, but yeah, he's out. Jerry Judy, yeah, he's out. So, so I think I think the Broncos roll 2 and out. I think Teddy throws for almost 200 yards, even though I can't stand Teddy. But I think he has a good game. Do you know quarterbacks throw for more than, like, 200 yards? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even your worst. That's the best game. <laughs> he's yeah, we're, also about, we're also talking about Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> Dude, he's playing the Jaguars. Yeah, I'm, yeah. With, I'm sticking with, with my conservative call. I'm going to go for one They're going to go for, ta- yeah, they're going to go for tails on the coin flip. <laughs> Flea flippers all day. <laughs> Fifty percent of the time, seventy times. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, all right, cheeks. <laughs> Who do you got? I'm going Broncos. 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 I think, this one might be I think their entire sweet. offense. Their yeah. entire offense. Yeah. Yep. Can, can we hear your chant that you did last week? Let's weekend? go, Broncos. <laughs> Let's go, Broncos. Let's go. <laughs> yes. So we know Eric's taking the Broncos. Yes. Melvin Gordon. Player game. Is it a clean sweep? We just it's okay. Yeah, it's I mean, okay. Let's just clean sweep yeah. it. What? Um, okay, well, here's the thing. When does Meyer get his first win? What game? I don't even know their schedule. I don't know their schedule. Someone looked that up real fast. Someone looked that up. Oh, week, f- uh, week 5 of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, let's see their schedule for next year. See, my, my thing is, you can never see how Trevor Lawrence does because that's the first time he's lost since he was in Kiwi football. Yeah, I know. Like, that's that's insane. Yeah, that's the first time he's lost since he was in Kiwi football. Like, that's insane. Uh, they don't so, have an easy schedule. Well, they play the Jets in like week, what, six? I've, four, no, 14, 13. Well, let's let's roll into the next yeah. game while you guys are all Atlanta. playing that. Atlanta? Next, next game they, they got. Atlanta? They could be Atlanta. Be Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> next game like we got there. is yeah. the 0-1 Vikings at the now world beater defense, Arizona Cardinals sitting at 1-0. Cardinals, Cardinals. Jones. Minus three and a half. I'd be squatching. Who do you like? Who are they playing? Vikings at Cardinals. I'm going to go Cardinals. Okay. <laughs> and DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, you got He's going to get a go two touchdown game right here. Another two score game, huh? Two touchdown, yep. Yeah. He's going to freaking light it up because I had him last year on fantasy and I don't got him this year, so that's just what he's going to do. That's like <laughs> yeah, you don't have him, so yeah. That's the curse that you get. All right, Stolt the Wolf. Tell me, like, tell me why the Vikings are gonna win this game, Paul. Why are the Vikings gonna? Why win? are the Vikings? They're not. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk looked bad. Oh, it looked bad. Kirk Cousins. You look bad. Went thirty-six for forty-nine for a three-fifty-one. But 200 yards over here is fucking. <laughs> we got Kirk Cousins lighting it up with this dude 200. <laughs> He's gonna two get 204. Teams. Yeah, I, dude, it's a, I think I think the Cardinals are gonna put a world beating on the Vikings like they did the Titans last week. They just looked too poised uh, last week. They it's just looked way like, too good. Their defense, their defense, looked, their defense looked like they were like week six or seven. Right? It's Kingsbury's second year. Uh, I, I, dude, it's I thought their defense, man. 
I didn't think JJ Watt was gonna be doing anything. He's getting up there, but dude, he's still just mauling. Who people. gets five sacks in a game? What does that ever happen? It's, uh, it's I saw that stat. Uh, I thought it was fake. Up, maybe Lawrence Taylor. I thought it was fake when I seen that. Lawrence Taylor might have. Don't quote like, me. Don't quote me. Twenty-two quote and a half is the record for the year. And this yeah, straight, straight, straight hand, straight, straight hand, hand twenty-two and a half. And this dude's got it. sack was BS. Brett Favre literally just laid down, let him get tapped. But still, we won't, we won't have time to get into that. Dude. We'll, he had he that Brett Favre used to take. I think you can yeah. give him. He at least played in football when quarterbacks were allowed to get hit. Yeah, this is true. Not There's just like game. you breathe on the wrong way mm-hmm. or you throw a flag. Get money for hurting it. <laughs> All right, Chiefs. So Who do you like? Arizona. Their defense is so legit. I mean, the fact that they came out and uh, they stuffed Henry at the goal line so many times. Not Henry. once. Not twice, but three times. I just sit there and watch that. I just think that that is they're they're going to come out and they're going to light it up. As much as I do like the Vikings, I think uh, Cardinals D is going to absolutely make this game uh, and run away with it. Eric, going to Arizona. All right. Kyler Murray's going to have a game. All right. I'm going to throw a stat line out there if I if I, if I may. Derek Thomas had seven six. Go for it. They have to run a stat line. I'm going to say. Kyle Murray, not one, not two, not three, Ooh. but four TDs and three fifty through the air. Damn, Paul, now that's a bold prediction right there, bud. All right. What right. touchdowns, huh? Just passing, or is he going to rush? I'm going to say three throwing and one rushing. How many yards? It's like that. Yeah, right. 200. Three. Wow, he went range. above 200 yards. Yeah, Damn. Like yeah. Yeah. He ain't feeling right. I like it. All right, next game we got is the 0-1 Atlanta Falcons oh, at the man. reigning Super Bowl champions. <laughs> Tampa oh. Bay Buccaneers sit at one of Tampa minus 12 and a half. Hey, hold on, <laughs> hold on, yeah. timeout, timeout. Clean sweep? Clean sweep. Clean sweep. I think it's a clean sweep, but if I'm in <laughs> Vegas, dude, 12 and a half is hard to not bet against, dude. That's how the Browns is this week against the uh, It's 12, 12 and a half, half of the spread. Oh, that's get out of here. Yeah. Dude, that's two, almost two touchdowns. Yeah, the Browns are 12 and a half. What? Browns are also 12. Dude, if I'm in Vegas, so. I'm picking freaking, I think, the spread, dude. That's, uh, that's almost two touchdowns. That's, a lot. that's where you get that field goal at the end of the game. Yeah, that's that bullshit time. And you get that, yep, you know, it's down nine points or something like that. Yeah. All right. So everybody's cool. I'm just gonna jump to the next game because yeah. we know the night the Bucks are gonna beat them down by like yeah. three or four touchdowns. Loser player of the game, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Brady. No. Gronk. Gronk. Mm-hmm. Gronk had Gronk. No. Nope. Gronk had a game. No, that was that was that was the one and done. I Brady. hope so. He's just like he's feeling it. He's, he's too old. Moving oh, on. <laughs> we got the <laughs> awful <laughs> Dallas Cowboys at 0 and 1 at the now L A Chargers 1 0. L A minus three and a half. Cheeks. Who do you like? Chargers. Yeah. I can't ever root for America's team. Cowboys are trash. I will <laughs> say that Dak looked really good last week. He did. He yeah. did. Really good. Very healthy. But Chargers are going to win at home. Uh, Keenan Allen, eight receptions, 121, and two scores. Let's go. Cool. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Justin Herbert, baby. That's not my fancy team. Are you playing it? Justin Herbert? Yeah, absolutely. I'm playing Justin Herbert. Yeah, tell, him, tell him you says hi. What up, Justin Herbert? <laughs> Hello, Justin. <laughs> Your boy needs four TDs. I got some point ground to make up from last week. To Keenan Allen. <laughs> yeah, you talk to Keenan Allen. Five touchdowns to Keenan Allen. Doesn't matter. I'm not playing him this week. All right. So I'm picking the Chargers because I need a huge game from Herbert. Nick stole the wolf. Gotta go, go against, gotta go against you guys, uh, even though I don't like rooting for the Cowboys. I'm not, I'm not rooting for the Cowboys. So let's get it. I'm Cowboys fan. No, I'm rooting all right, for the team that's going to win here, bud. Uh, so. uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. I mean, if i got to be LeBron, then, I mean. going to be a Yankees fan, too? Sounds about right. All right, man, save, save us here. Yeah, I'll save you guys because I'm going to go to the Cowboys also. Let's go! CeeDee Lamb, two touchdowns. 135. I'll save you guys. <laughs> All right, Eric. All right. It's up to you. Eric's like, I'm picking a tie. Dallas. <laughs> a tie. <laughs> Amari Cooper, man. He was just on fire. I'm Dude, going. Dak can just gun some. What the fuck happened to Zeke? 
Is he just fell off a cliff in the last couple of years? Now, he got that right? tattoo set. Dude, dude, I saw a little meme much. or whatever. They had him like interviewing or whatever, and it's like he looks like a cheerleader for freaking the longest yard. He's wearing like a little t- like a shirt that's <laughs> cut off and shit. Like he look, got his hair all. He doesn't have the six pack. Teach me to play football. He doesn't even have the six pack anymore. Really, it's just like he was at that ripped six pack. Yeah, I was just like, not anymore. Like, that's what that's what happens when you get out of college and you start, you know, aging. That goes away real fast. No. Have you seen some of the NFL players that are in like their thir- late thirties and shit? They still have their six packs. Because if you take care of yourself, yeah. okay. Yeah, so. yeah, this is what yeah. Yeah. Next I, game we got yeah. is the 0-1 Tennessee Titans at the 1-0 Seahawks. Seahawks minus six Ooh. and a half. I think this is gonna be. This is a big game. I think it's gonna be a freaking game. shootout. Yep. I think that's gonna be a good game. We got so, it here. Over under is 54. Eric, Ooh, we'll let you roll first on this yeah, one. Yeah, we'll we'll like let you guys on that side go first uh, on this. This is a rough one. I was impressed with Russell Wilson. I didn't think he really had much left in him. But, yeah, I'll go Seahawks. Okay. Seahawks, and I don't want to go with the easy pick of the Let's see. Who's their running back now? They got um, Chris Carson. Carson. They say Carson, he's still he's back now. Yeah. Okay. Because they're one of the teams that always loses running backs. I'll say them in the, the Rams. Game, DK just make running backs. Like, I'll, like, just I'll say Metcalf. Like, no problem. Yeah. One gets hurt, next one up. All right, I'm Squatch. Who do you like? Um, who is it again? Tennessee and what? <laughs> Titans, yeah. at, Titans at Seahawks. Seahawks minus six. I'm going to go Seahawks. I'm going to go Carson. He's going to run and have a good game. He's going to break the century mark. I'm going to go 104 again. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> That's it. He ain't even gonna score, but he's gonna get 104. It's not gonna be a high-scoring game like everyone thinks. It's gonna be a defensive game. Stole the wolf. I love underdogs. Uh, everybody knows that I love underdogs. Gotta take the Seahawks here. They're not the underdog. Reason being, I love underdogs. Reason being, love it. The love. All right. So Tennessee, right? They have a great offense. Tannehill is really coming on himself. No homo. Um, Derrick Henry. I mean, come on. Is he not one of the best running backs? Yeah, he yeah. wasn't last week. Solid. You're going to have those, you're gonna have defense, those loop games, and it's just going to happen. So Derrick Henry, I'm going to say, is a player of the game. He balls out. He has a reduction game here. But, yeah, we have to go Seahawks just because of the spread, okay. the six-and-a-half spread. And on top of that, who do you trust with the ball in the hands? End of the game, fourth quarter. Russell Wilson has plenty of fourth-quarter victories if it comes down and to it. Bowl. And not to mention a Super Bowl. Should have had two. Well, he threw a pick, so. But they should have ran the damn ball with Marshawn Lynch. That was the toughest call in the whole history. Yeah, we made money that, that year, though, on the Patriots. You so did, I did. Good. So, with that being said, we're going Seahawks, baby. And, uh, yeah. So, we're with the All year. right, Cheeks. The Seahawks. They're both feeling Clean sweep. Clean <laughs> Who says it's a clean sweep? Oh, it's going to be a clean sweep. Come on, uh, Got to go Seahawks. Um, at home, I think player of the game, 12th man. There you go. It's Dude, they said... That this year, a lot of teams are having a hard time playing in the stadiums now because they got so used to not hearing fans and seeing the uh, hard cuts. That's a messing with you. I did <laughs> hear that. Factor, yes. The, the noise factor. Man, yeah. well, we went to Arrowhead the first game. Everyone says that we did so so well for being the first game at Arrowhead. I mean, and they got a very strong fan base, very yeah. loud. You want to hear a bold prediction for like 17, 18 weeks from now? No. 17. <laughs> <laughs> you want to 17 to 18 weeks from now? Yeah. When we crush them in the playoffs. A- AFC Championship game. Let's hear it. I'm saying Browns and Chiefs AFC Championship game. In Cleveland? Ooh. That's your bold prediction. In Cleveland. Okay, we'll go in Cleveland. Damn. How much do you think those tickets would be, dude? Ooh. I, 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 Ooh. I think the Browns have a walk-off field goal winning 33-30. AFC Championship game. Go Super Bowl. Dude. Let's go! Hey, let me make my damn pick, sir. Also Seahawks. I said a clean sweep. <laughs> All right, next game we got is the 1-0 Chiefs and the 0-1-1 Ravens. Kansas City minus 3.5. Mr. Cheeks. Uh, um, after watching the Ravens play the Raiders, um, it's, I got to go with the Chiefs on this one, man. Uh, I think Patrick Mahomes is just too talented to uh, – to lose. I know that they were losing to the Browns, but you know they are a fourth quarter, second half team. Got to go Chiefs, uh, and we're gonna go with, go with Kelsey on this one. 
I am also rolling the Chiefs just to speed things along. I think Mahomes goes for over 300 in the air and on the day. Chiefs. Ravens are good at everything else, but no, nah, it's not their year. Chiefs, the Ravens are injury prone. They can't stay healthy in any single game they play or preseason game or practice. Or have a running back. We're talking about practice. I'm talking about anything. They just keep getting hurt. <laughs> they keep getting hurt. They I hate both hurt. teams, but yeah, I got to go Chiefs. Right. I, I just want to see Mahomes get crushed. But All right, roll it on good. to the last two games. We got the 0-1 Lions at 0-1 Packers. Green Bay minus 11. Take the Lions with the points. That's yep. my pick. Over Dude, under 40 the, how would there's three games with over 10 plus? Because the matches are horrible. 11, 12, and 12 and a half. What? The Lions can find a way to stay competitive. Um, even last week, they found a way to. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say they cover the 11. That's my pick. So you're taking the Lions plus 11. No. I don't even think the Lions are going to cover. Every time Aaron Rodgers plays them, he just absolutely annihilates them. I think this is the game where they're like, okay, Aaron Rodgers is back to normal, and then the third game he's going to go back to, ah, I'm just going to throw picks again. So I'm going to go with the Packers, even with the points. Cheeks? Uh, we're going cheese heads on this one. If Aaron Rodgers actually shows up this week, which I think he will, um, Packers. Eric? Yeah, I gotta go Packers, even though they're kind of in dismay with the whole Rodgers thing. I gotta go Packers, and I'll do Aaron Jones because he's my number one fantasy pick. So, <laughs> so if the Packers uh, don't cover, you guys lose. Is that how we're gonna do this? I said they, they cover the spread. I said the Packers are covering. I'm saying they're not gonna cover. I'm saying they are. So that's what I'm All saying. Right. So I'm also, I'm also taking the Packers. All right. All right. All right. Last yeah. game we got is. Oh, the best game. We got the Houston Texans yeah. at the 0 1 Washington Browns. The Browns. <laughs> Browns minus 12 and a half. I'm going to go first. And you know what? I'm not going to go first. I don't think we'll go around this way. Game. Matt. It's never been that way. Um, I'm going to have to think about this one. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Cleveland. Fancy start of the game. Go. Cremont. All right, Nick. Same. That that was actually the first thing that came to my head too. Cleveland cream hunt. Cream hunt. Matt. Let's go brownies. Uh, we're gonna go Landry on this one. Juice. Juice. All right. All right. All right. All right. Eric Wilson too. So yeah. 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 Dude, I gotta go chubby. chubby. Yeah, I think Nick can't I'm, stop him. I'm also going Browns. Clean sweep. Easy pick one for this. Game. I think Nick Chubb has a monster game after fumbling last week. He's pissed. I'm going to go two TDs, 165 on the ground. Oh, yeah, the he's going to run it all the way down the field, right. and then Kareem Hunt's going to crop dust it. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, they're going to get to the red zone. Yep, Kareem's and Kareem's going to crop dust. Dude, that used to drive me nuts in fucking fantasy because you're running back. Drives him all the way down the field. You're going to look at the 10-yard line. Let's bring the backup in. Touchdown, touchdown. Mike oh, Davis. Mike Davis. Mike Davis. <laughs> 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 All right, folks. That is week two for you. We'll be back next Wednesday or Thursday. We're going to bring the boys back over here. And until then, happy fantasy. And go Browns, go Panthers. See you next week. Woo!